Hello everybody, welcome to Sunday School. This is Miss Marianne. I hope you guys are all doing really well and finding lots of fun things to do. We are in the time of the year where we're talking about Jesus and this week we are at the very beginning of Jesus's ministry. So we went through Christmas where we were talking about Jesus being born and as a baby and then last week we had the only story we have of when Jesus was a child, when he was no longer a baby but before he was an adult. He was probably around 12 or so when he uh, got lost from his parents and was at the temple. But today we have the story at the very beginning of his ministry and it starts out in an interesting way. So I think you will like this story. Um, and for this story, we are going to use this book, The Lion Storyteller Bible. We've used it a few times before and I just like how it tells the story. But before we get going, let us um, light our candle and do our opening prayer. Let me get that. And let's just take a second to take a deep breath. And you can either close your eyes or look at the candle and just take a deep breath to get us ready. Loving God, God of wonder, we thank you for giving us Jesus who shows us how to live lives that will bring us close to you. And we thank you for loving us just the way we are. Amen. Put it down there. I think you can see it better. So our story is Jesus is baptized. John was shouting. John was shouting in the wilderness. God is sending someone special, he shouted. You'd better get ready to meet them. Many people listened to John. They thought he was someone special. He lived in the wilderness, after all, down by the River Jordan, and he wore a scratchy camel hair shirt, and he ate locusts for lunch. I'm not the special one, John shouted. Why, I'm not even special enough to stoop down and untie his sandals. No, I'm just here to get you ready to meet him. And how will we do that? Someone shouted back. You We'll start following the 10 best ways to live. The rules that God had given Moses and given to the people. You will stop doing things that aren't right and start doing the things that are good. If you meet a poor person, you don't tell them to go away. You give them food and clothing. If you're a tax collector, you don't take more than you're supposed to. You are honest and kind. And if you're a soldier, you don't bully people. You protect them and take care of them. What about us? Shouted some very religious people. You, John shouted louder than ever. You need to stop pretending that you're perfect and admit that you have done some things that have made God sad. And I'll say it again, God is sending someone special and all of you, all of you need to get ready to meet him. So come, let me dip you into this water so that we can, you can show God that you're ready to start to change, to start to live your lives by the 10 best ways and do what is right. So the people came. And John dipped them in the river, put them through the water, and brought them out. He baptized them. And that was showing that they were ready to live the right way. And when all the shouting and dipping was done, someone else came too. And it was Jesus. 30 years old now and all grown up, John recognized him right away. And he stopped his shouting. You're the special one, aren't you? He whispered. 
Jesus just smiled. Jesus said, I want you to baptize me. Oh no, John shouted. It should be the other way around. You should baptize me. Jesus said, no, it is time for me to start my ministry. And this is how my father wants me to do it. So John agreed and he and Jesus waded into the water. And John took Jesus through the water and brought him back out so that he was baptized. And when he came out, shaking the wet hair out of his eyes, the clouds parted and a dove landed on Jesus' shoulder. This was a sign that God was with Jesus. And God said, a voice said, out of the clouds, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. And that's the story of Jesus' baptism. I wonder how the people felt when John told them that they had to change the way that they were living and get ready to meet the special someone. Hmm. I wonder if it would be hard to change the way you're living. I wonder how the people felt when they went through the waters and under the water and came back out and were baptized. I wonder how they felt. I wonder how John felt when Jesus told him that he wanted him, John, to baptize him. Hmm. I wonder if the people felt ready to meet Jesus. I wonder which part of the story you like best. I wonder which part is the most important. I wonder. I wonder if you've been baptized or if you know your baptism story. I wonder if you've ever seen someone be baptized in the church. It's always a very special day. And I wonder what you are hoping to do this week. I hope you find some fun things to do. Um, in the email for today, there is a um, special printable that has a dove that you can cut out. And there's some directions for a special ceremony that you can do too to think about being close to, to, to God. Um, and then there's also a really pretty uh, coloring sheet in there as well. So um, I hope you have the uh, chance to take a look at that um, um, and do that. And let us do our closing prayer for today. Loving God, we thank you for the times that bring us close to you and to one another. Help us to remember that you are always with us. Amen. And I will change this light. The light of Christ can be with you wherever you go and wherever you are. This light is with you and it will find you if you need it. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Have a great week.